the initial idea of a skate track in Baxter Park came about from an answer to a question, what would you like to see in Stobswell? This was at the Stobswell Forum stall at the 2016 Stobfest Gala Day. I wrote down a roller derby track at the old bowling green in Baxter Park. A small seed of an idea formed that was to grow with time, interest and the support of others. Living locally for the last 25 years, being a member of Friends of Baxter Park and now having two sporty young boys, I thought this would be a great idea for the community. At the time, I was a member of the Dundee Roller Girls, passionate about skating and keen to be able to practice my skills while also seeing this as an opportunity to create a great community sports hub. There was already a mugger pitch, the tennis courts are currently being refurbished and outdoor gym equipment will soon be installed. Following an invitation to join the Stobswell Forum, I was asked to write a proposal to submit to the Dundee City Council's Head of Neighbourhood Services. Meetings and discussions followed with him, other council staff, a Maryfield councillor, the chair and a member of Friends of Baxter Park and members of both the Forum and Dundee Roller Derby. This eventually led to approval by the Neighbourhood Services Committee with the request to consult with the local community, obtain costings and create a design. So what has happened so far? The skate track would be a flat surface with a roller derby track on it. Other markings could also be added. It would be alongside the mugger pitch and tennis courts on the site of the old bowling green. The Baxter Park Skate Track Group was formed in 2018 and were given the task of consulting with various people, schools and organisations to gauge interest and what they would use it for. As the skate track would be on the site of the old bowling green, this means one sporting location would be replaced by another, therefore no green space would be taken away from the park. Nationally there is currently a drive to encourage people to get outdoors and be more active. This helps improve their physical health, well-being and mental health. Social isolation can be tackled by encouraging people to engage with their community by taking part in shared or new interests. Furthermore, the skate track and other facilities in the park could contribute towards the Active Scotland Outcomes Framework. Just like the mugger pitch and tennis courts, the skate track would be free to use and inclusive to all. This is especially important for those who cannot afford to hire private facilities. We've spoken to people who play or are fans of wheelchair sports, roller derby, roller hockey, hockey and ice hockey. Use of the skate track could encourage participation in and progress onto these sports and local groups. Members of the public and lots of families and children at local schools have also been consulted with. They may use it for skating and learning to ride their bike or scooter. We've looked into different services and level of maintenance needed too. This has included consideration of coloured smooth concrete, synthetic ice or other types of outdoor sports courts. It would be envisaged that a lease agreement with the council would be agreed. This is in place for the mugger. As Baxter Park is in a designated landscape within a conservation area, the design of the skate track will need to integrate into the proposed site and be acceptable to Historic Scotland. As was the case with the mugger pitch, any fencing and park furniture would need to be dark green to be in keeping with and complement the surrounding area. Reinstating the hedging could be considered too. Pre-planning advice has been obtained. Planning permission will need to be applied for. Ultimately, as well as concluding the ongoing consultation, a design and costings will need to be worked out, a feasibility study written, an open consultation held and funding secured. We'd love to hear your views about the skate track and any considerations we'd need to take into account. We have a Facebook page where you can leave comments and where we update on our progress. A final thought. Different people enjoy Baxter Park for different reasons. The park is not exclusively used by one group of people or for one activity. Rather, it is a place that people can enjoy a range of different activities in different parts of the park. With respect and consideration of all, the park can continue to be enjoyed by everyone for generations to come.